Hi there, Internet. Good to see you again. I'm Heather May, and today on Nerdy Bits, we are going to be talking about scientific theory and what it actually means. The word theory in the scientific world is completely different than from what we use it in everyday language. If I said something along the lines of, I have a theory as to what's happening in my socks whenever I do laundry, it's those damn dryer trolls. That's merely a guess. I don't have any evidence to support such a claim. And if I had used scientific words in that statement, I would have said something along the lines of, I have a hypothesis as to what's happening to my socks when I do laundry. So it's damn dryer trolls. Now, a hypothesis is merely an educated guess, and there's nothing to support whatever it is that you are claiming. And that's precisely how we use the word theory in everyday language. Scientific theory is a very well-supported explanation of the world through repeated tests and experiments that garner the same result over and over again. And a consensus is reached that it's doubtful that new evidence would show that a theory does not hold water anymore. And of course, this new evidence needs to be repeated over and over again and garnering the same results. So scientific theory is fact. So typically people will say, well, what about scientific laws? When do theories become laws? The answer to that question is that theories don't become laws. Theories and laws are basically the same thing. Scientific laws don't give a how or why explanation in nature. Scientific laws, they give a what happens under certain conditions in nature, and then they will predict future occurrences whenever those conditions are met. Perfect example of this would be the law of gravity. No matter how many times you drop an apple from a tree, it's going to fall down to the ground towards Earth. Doesn't matter how many times you do it. Scientific theory gives a why something happens in nature. They also tend to be a bit broader in explanation as to how or why, whereas laws just merely give a description. Another key difference would be that you can actually express a lot of scientific laws with mathematical equations. You can't do that with very many scientific theories. A very good example would be in the field of physics. In physics, there's mathematical equations everywhere. Uh, in biology, for instance, you find them kind of sparse here and there, uh, depending on what you're talking about. So what this means is that a scientific theory and a scientific law are basically the same thing. The big difference is one explains a why or a how, and the other one explains a what, under what circumstances. There is no graduation from a theory to a law. That, that doesn't happen. So whenever someone says, it's just a theory, that's not how it works. It really means that they don't know what they're talking about, and that makes me sad. So if you enjoyed learning on Nerdy Bits today, do hit that like button. Please subscribe. I would appreciate it immensely. And if you didn't learn anything, well, subscribe anyway. Come see me next week. You'll learn something new, I promise. And if you think you're not going to learn anything new, give me a suggestion in the comments. I'm Heather May. Bye.